Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, um, Lisa Love Lots. Um, sorry I haven't filmed in a while, I have been a bit poorly, um, just life got in the way and just to be honest with you, I really wasn't in the mood to do any videos. Um, today's video is an Illumicrate one. Um, if you see my previous video, it was the Afterlight, which is not their monthly subscription box, but their quarterly one, which is adult romance books. Um, so if you haven't checked that out, go and watch it. It was a really good box, I really loved it. Um, I've got the February one, um, it arrived today, I've literally just picked it up and I just wanted to dive right in and get it open, hence me again, <laughs> sitting on my bed and filming this video. Not gonna lie, a little bit disappointed, it's just come, sorry let me cover my dress in just a box. Um, I did undo the tape because I wanted to make sure it was the actual Aluma Crate box, which it is. Um, so yeah, a little bit disappointed. Last box came in the gorgeous yellow box, which you can keep for storage, which I really liked. But let's hope the content is a lot better. So as I say, this is it. Um, I literally only opened it and saw that it had the afterlight leaflet on it. Um, so that's how I knew it was there. Let's just get this open. So, oh, sorry. So this is it. Now the afterlight is a quarterly subscription box. So. I think I paid with delivery, I want to say about £23, it's £18 for the box itself and you get a exclusive hardback book with usually a digitally so digital signature on there and two or three bookish items to go with the box. So we have the little, little uh, leaflet just... Um, saying afterlight on it and it says february 2022 don't know if you can see that it is a spoiler card on the back as well so i don't want to look at that right now um looks like we've got two items this time and the book um if you saw my last video you would remember me saying that i wanted to see how the next box went whether before i decide whether or not i was going to keep subscribing so and see if i thought it was worth 80 pounds i mean if you think the hardback book clones are usually worth what 13 14 pounds depending on where you get them from they can be even more expensive so the first item it comes in the tote bag oh it says it's by luna and wild and it says bloom in the moonlight and it's a cute little moon on there with some little flowers and some stars so we'll have a little look if i can get in let's have a look in there so the oh oh it's oh it smells beautiful wonderful whatever's in here so let's have a look we've got a little a little card that says I'm worthy of love and there's blue uh, lunar and wild sorry on the front look at oh my god look at that foil anything black with foiling on I love and then just on the back it's got a beautiful flower and that's why it says I am worthy of love at the bottom oh that is really pretty um it came with um I'm not going to show you, but you get 20% off your first order at Luna and Wild. Um, and their Instagram is Luna, just Luna and Wild. Or you can go to lunaandwild.com if you want to see any of their items. So let's actually see what it is. That's, oh, smelling so good in here. Okay. So it says, Luna and Wild for love, rose and pink pepper. Um, hand poured wax melt made with coconut and rapeseed wax and blend of 100% essential oils oh my god you can smell it without even having to open the packet um, but we need to have a little I love a good wax melt candles wax melts you name it I oh my god and it shapes like a moon crescent moon oh oh that is Oh, that smells so so good. Might have to get the um, old wax burner out and uh, use this. Let's pop that in there. Um, I just have like little warnings and things on the back, and that's just the packet. How cute is that? I think there was one more thing. Oh, a couple more things. Oh my gosh, we got a rose quartz crystal. Um, I love crystals. I love anything Wiccan. Um. So as well, so for me, add to my collection, I have a lot of crystals. <laughs> so that I'm going to pop up there. And we have this little Dini Dennis scroll. 
Let's see if I can, uh, oh, let's take the twine off it. Oh, it's a spell. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, love this. Um, it says, uh, rose quartz truly aligns you with appreciating and loving yourself. It will help you let down any barriers and open your heart to receiving love, but also guide you to the love that's already inside. Oh my gosh. Um, it says what the chakra is, which is the heart, the parent. Enhance your intentions by burning essential oils such as rose, pink pepper, geranium, and um, is it ylang lang? Other properties encourages forgiveness, boosts feelings of peace and calm, and inspires compassion and kindness. And it also gives you a little ritual there. If you want to pause it, you can have a little read of that. And then that's just the other bits. I mean, that is just, yeah. So I'm going to roll that back up. Like I say, crystals, wicker, rituals. You have me <laughs> at that. So I actually really, really love that. Um, okay, and I'm going to keep my crystal with me. And the bag, it's just beautiful. So I'm going to pop all those little bits back into the bag but I'm going to keep my crystal with me um, hopefully when the next full moon do some charging for the crystal and the last item before the book is this tote bag I actually love tote bags I have a collection of them and just love keeping one in my rucksack so if I need to go out so it's a gorgeous design this is gorgeous blue colour okay and it says through my soul may uh, sorry, though my soul may set in dar darkness, it will rise in perfect light. I have loved the stars too fondly to be fearful of the night. And that's by Sarah Williams. That is, I love that. This might be uh, my new go-to tote bag. How beautiful is that? And it's a pretty decent size as well. So, loving that. And then last but not least, we have... Let's just move the box out of the way. Our book, which comes in its little Illumicrate bag. And I love these because I use these as book protectors in front of my bag. Um, so we have, ooh, Delilah Green doesn't care. Okay, this is going to be, oh my, already, I'm already loving it. It looks like it's a lesbian love story. Um, so it says, this ball towards Claire was getting absurd and it wasn't just about sleeping with her again. Delilah just wanted to see her, talk to her, kiss her gorgeous mouth, sure, but even just standing right here in her in her foyer felt like drive, diving into the cool lake after a walk through the desert. Oh my god. Okay, so this is the front cover. It's a gorgeous green and it's got, obviously, the two, I'm guessing the two main characters of the book, Claire and... Um, Delilah on the front there and this is by Ashley Herring Blake sorry and then it's got these orange sprayed edges never thought of like orange because not a colour I go for but with the green somehow it works then on the inside it's like a pink um, and it says Delilah Green swore she would never go back to Bright Hall Bright Fall sorry nothing is there for her but memories of a lonely childhood her life is now in New York, with her photography career finally gaining steam and her bed never empty. Sure, it's a different woman every night, but that's just fine with her. When Delilah's estranged stepsister pressures her into photog photographing her wedding, Delilah finds herself back in Bright Falls once more. She plans to breeze in and out, but then she sees Claire Sutherland, her stepsister's stuck-up bestie, and decides that there may be some there there may oh, sorry and decides that maybe there's some fun and a little retribution to be had after all as a busy single mother claire depends upon life without surprises and july the green is an unwelcome surprise at first but when they're forced together during the many wedding preparations claire isn't sure she has the strength to resist delilah's charms even worse she's starting to think she doesn't want to Ooh, that sounds really good. And then you've got a bit about the author at the back there. I'm going to show you the blurb again because my reading was terrible. So if you want to pause it, you can zoom in and just have a little read. Let's see 
what is there anything on the uh, under the dust cover uh no that's what it is just like this gorgeous green again and oops it's just got the writing on the side which is in pink okay um sorry my fingers are shaky today um this little thing by the author a little and then a little digital signature there this i actually can't wait to read this um this might be my next on my reading list um so yeah that is everything in the box um oh excuse me <laughs> excuse me um yeah um it was a good box the book sounds amazing i think i'm gonna give it one more try um so we'll get the next box or i might do it for the year so we'll get the four boxes and then decide whether or not I want to keep up with it or if I'm going to unsubscribe. Um, my favourite item, I do love the tote bag and obviously the book, but Luna and Wild and the crystal and the little ritual and the wax melt. And it just, oh my God, it smells amazing. The only thing I would say I was a little bit disappointed in is the fact it just came in just a cardboard box, um, not their usual Luma Crate box. It would have been nice to have it in there but overall yeah it's a it was a lovely lovely box definitely gonna be using the tote bag i'll be getting my max melt out to um use the rose and pink pepper wax melt i believe it was and i will be having a little look at the ritual after i've finished filming this video um so yeah if you've liked what you've seen please give this video a like if you're not already please hit that subscribe button I will be trying to get better at posting my videos. Um, I am back on a back on a roll now, feeling a lot better. Don't look a lot better, but I am feeling it. Um, so hopefully there'll be more videos up in the future. Um, hope you all have a lovely day, evening, whatever time you're watching this. I love you all, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye, guys.